Okay, folks, so in this video, we're going to go ahead and glue down our shock cords. Uh, almost halfway done with the build, and we're going to go ahead and use 15 minute epoxy. These The shock cords will be glued down right on the shotgun tube. Now, I recommend again, uh, uh, sand it down with 60 grit or a rough grit just so the bonding can be, uh, you know, just the bond will be great and there's no risk of your shock cords coming off or anything. So let's go ahead and mix up some 15 minute epoxy and we'll go ahead and glue them together. Okay, so I recommend getting the epoxy first, uh, moving away the shock cords. We're going to go ahead and put the epoxy on there. Uh, this time I'm not going to use my fingers because I was getting sick and tired of my hands feeling all sticky. I just, uh, even no matter how badly I washed it with the soap, it's, it's still real sticky. So this time I'm just using the mixing stick that I have. I might have to use my fingers later for the uh, the epoxy going on top over the the shock cords. Just go ahead and put a nice big bead of epoxy there. A little line so you can glue in place. Okay, and go ahead and put this right here. And go ahead and put the shock cords on there. <clears throat> Sorry if you can hear the dog, she's uh, barking at the cat. Maybe we have a cat that comes here and she's probably barking at it. Okay, so once you do that, just uh, like usual, just leave it dry and then just remove the masking tape and you're, you're good to go. Uh, I recommend also gluing down this side and that's what I'm going to do as well, so go ahead and do that just to make sure none of it just comes off and it's all nicely bonded. Again, uh, sand it first. Okay, so now what we're going to go ahead and do is glue our piston and our charge cap right into the spot. And the charge cap goes in first into the short Kevlar cord. And then you're going to put the piston next. And what you want to do is make two knots back here at the end. And because if you make one, it'll still go right through the, the drilled hole. So make two knots. And what you'll want to do is uh, you're going to glue these two at least 10 inches away so it can be enough space for the parachute to fit in nicely in there. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to go ahead and, and bond these together with 15 minute epoxy. Okay, so with the 15 minute epoxy, just uh, the mixing stick or something, uh, just put like a small good little dab there. Have the epoxy soaking into the, the drilled hole. That will hold your shock cord in place. And let's go ahead and apply it to this big old knot here that I made. And I recommend covering the whole thing up with epoxy here. Just so it can it'll be stuck on there pretty good. There's no risk of it uh, it coming off. Plenty of epoxy. Lots and lots of epoxy. Okay, so I think that's good enough. I think I may have put a little bit too much. Let's see if I can scrape some of it off and I'll set this aside and then apply it to to my step cap here if I can. It's not cooperating with me. There we go. Nice 
Foxy all around the shock cord. Make sure it bonds nice and good to it. Okay, looks good enough for that. And put some more here. good enough. It'll just hold in place later as it dries. Okay folks, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and tie up this lovely 36 inch parachute. Now I like this shoe when I first saw it in action it was just very visible and and I'm sure you're gonna enjoy a shoot like this. So let's go ahead and unfold it and get the shroud lines out really long shroud lines I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go ahead and spike it out oh, cool. okay so that came out pretty neat and I'm just gonna go ahead and start <clears throat> start folding away and one more time and just uh, wrap it up into a little burrito here, I think it's too wide, I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and attach it right to the middle of the shock cord. <clears throat> really long. Okay. So you just nicely pull it. It doesn't have to exactly be in the middle, but that's where I'd recommend it. Uh, once you do this, I recommend you pass the the uh, the piston right underneath to create like a knot. Because one thing I noticed last time is this traveled right down through the cord, and who knows, it might pull on the the piston or the cap and might might uh, rip it apart. So just make a knot and just uh, have it nice and secure on there. Okay, so <clears throat> I was struggling a lot with it, but this time I think I got it. So let's go ahead and put in the piston first and shoot next. Yep, there we go. Kinda got it. Oh, those shroud lines just get in, like to get in the way. Just put in the step cap and that's it. That's all you gotta do. 